Well, we're moving along. We're getting things done, right? Nothing's here, it just sounds scary. Holy crap! Wait for it. Wait for it. And... A thing of beauty. Well, there are red herbs, but I can't do anything about them. There's this. Tight with rope. Soak with oil, hey! Well, that was a quick use for the lighter, right? Let's do it. Also, one bullet, six zombies, or five or six or whatever. Sure, I'll have it. The hell is that? You hear that? Oh, dogs. That's what that was. Yeah, I figured. There's another one? Can I... There we go. Oh, okay. Hey, ammo. Beautiful. Right, right, right. I can't do anything with this. Okay. Guess I'll have to use my reloading tool one step at a time. I gotta deposit something. Actually, you know what? Let's do that. I'll use a reloading tool when I hit a save room. So far, the only time I found gunpowder was in a save room. The only time I found gunpowder at all was in a save room. Oh, wrong button. Oh, I can't go to the sales office, because there was fire over there. So I guess I have no choice but to go around here. And it looks like this area is locked, so... Up here? Seems to be the only plausible way, right? Let's see what's on the lower section. A giant conflagration. Lock with a simple lock. I'm the master of unlocking, but now that I think about it... Yeah, I don't have that permanent item that's up here. You know, Chris had the lighter, Joel had the lockpick, Claire had the lockpick, Leon had the lighter. We, we're just not doing that this game, I guess. Oh my god, this is the gate! If you saw my Resident Evil 2 Let's Play, or if you knew this already, there's a, a sort of easter egg in the game, where at the very beginning of the game, you can walk right up to the gate and look out the other side and kind of see this area. Like, not quite up to the traffic cones, but like, around the sidewalk where Jill's standing, so we're coming from the other side of the gate. That's really cool. Oh, hey. Oh god. Wow. It talks. Oh, is this the the fight with the monster? Are you freaking kidding me? No, I'm out. Oh, that's kind of cool showing you a little dodge. Also, we are going to die. Jeez. 
too dangerous. You're damn right. Thing's still pounding the door. My God. Yeah, ammo, please. So let's unlock the uh, the doors with the computer. Okay, I need a star's card. Alright. A police station map. Well, the police station's a little smaller this time around, but it's actually really cool that we're in, uh... You know, we're, we're back. Although, no music in this front hallway. That was kind of an iconic theme, you know? Also... But this was the save area. Like, there's another save area, but this was the item box area. Not that I would want to go in this area first. I think it led to the library, but, um... Yeah. I guess we're going into Marvin Branagh's office. Let's see how he is when he's alive and well, huh? Oh, I didn't even see that one. Boot the head off. Man, this is ridiculous. Oh, come on, there's nothing... Well, there's Marvin, I guess he's already... Oh, he's down, but he's not a zombie yet. Clever. But there's nothing in here. I'm okay for now. Wow, there are quite a few zombies in here. Is there anything in here like the shotgun last time or shotgun shells? Someone's made a mess. Still setting up for Leon's party though. Wow, too many zombies. Oh, well, there's a tell if I ever saw one. The blue gem. It's a blue glittering sapphire. Sapphire. Cool. Sell it, make millions. Oh, hey. A number based lock. Well, I can't do anything about that. Oh, you know what? Wasn't there, like, ammo on this side of the locker somewhere? Oh, get out of here! Remember that for later. Aw, oh, so cool! Oh, here we go. Yeah, I thought I heard someone else. Zombies take a lot of hits in this game. Well, they're all gone. Yep, I see you. Let's hit up that item box, please. Yeah, you're still, you're still going. That does it. Man, this is stressful. Anything in the, any extra costumes in here? Oh, get out of here. All right. I will definitely be using that. Um. Yeah, you know what? No, you, you never know. You never know. Let's just do this. Alright, no first aid spray in that cabinet, but I can still get the gunpowder. Gunpowder B appears to be a little more rare, huh? Alright, 
And I'll check for more gunpowder, but then I'll put away the reloading tool again. Here's the good old dark room. Nothing suspicious. I guess that's it. Let's free up some inventory. Zombies here should be clear. That means there are only two ways to go. Yeah, there's... I may as well clear out the downstairs then. It looks like we can't go all the way back to the front hallway this way. Let's take a look at the long hallway. You hear that? That's not zombie footsteps. Oh! Crap, they're coming. Before they get up. Nah, I gotta just leave them. I gotta wait for them to get up. Oh, good. It's one down. Come on now. That's more like it. So, place your bets. Are we gonna get scary hands coming through the walls? Now, I saw that there was no yellow door at the end here. Wow. There is no getting to that item room. Sturdily barricaded. Okay, I guess we'll go to the one possible room. Oh, well, we're making quick work of this place. You know, I gotta say, it was really cool of them to give us the police station, but not just copy-paste the whole thing into the game again. It is different, and there's not as much of it, so it's not wearing out its welcome. Like, hello, I already played the police station, so it's good for nostalgia, but not to the point where you're playing Resident Evil 2 twice. Soda cans and junk. Stars card, hey! I can use the computer. Something... Something's not sitting right about that American flag. Like, it's facing the correct way, but it's attached to the pole the wrong way. It should be attached to the pole by the stars. It's like... That's weird. There was a recent accident. Alright, you know why I brought the lighter. Shotgun ammo over here? No? Great. Oh, over here, though! Nothing you can- Nothing you can do with the fireplace is telling me this straight up? Wow! Alright, so much for my brilliant idea. I guess I'll put the lighter away then. What am I gonna do with it? It is cool, though, that all the, uh, the old musics come back. Again, except for the lobby. I don't know. Oh yeah, that stars card. Oh, it's mine! Chill's photos on it. Cool. Alright, well let's go back to the front lobby. Before I even go upstairs, we may as well take care of each problem as we come to it. I don't want to forget the puzzle before I start playing around with other things. Plus, it's not far away. All I have to do is go through the evidence room, and then Marvin Brano's office, and then we're out. Perfect, I managed to dodge all- Whoa, okay, camera angle change. Managed to dodge all of them. Oh, the music's back! Oh, awesome! So I guess it's just because Nemesis was chasing us and the music was gone? Nothing to investigate here, I guess let's just computer it up. Use the stars card. Notice the star's personnel. Due to the emergency, the key to the star's office has been moved to the evidence room. 
Oh, so I couldn't have checked the star's office anyway. 0513. Oh, for the safe. Okay. Perfect. Now we can take care of the evidence room. Although there's still that thing locked with a simple lock, but we have no lock pick, so not much we can do, right? Ah, crap. Good, he's no longer a problem. Ooh, that's a problem, though. Nope, no, it's not. Okay, 0513, 0513. I, you know, I gotta say, this demo's longer than I thought it would be. We got out of the town and we're in the police station. I'm just kind of processing this right now. This isn't like Resident Evil 2's demo, this is like Code Veronica's, where we're just going and going. Okay, now I know. Zero, five, one, three. What are you, the star's key? Emblem key. Interesting that it needed a different key in Resident Evil 2, but what do I know? Star's key. It has a star's emblem on it. Alright, normally I would deposit stuff. Well, wait a minute. No, you know what? No, I, I will deposit stuff. Because I have a couple things I don't want. I guess the lighter might not prove useful after all. Clear out some of our junk. I used the stars key, so that's good. And I'm going to get rid of the stars. No, I used the stars card. I'm going to use the stars key. So we're gonna have more free ammo than we thought. Hooray! So weird. Once again, for a second, I just run up the stairs. Look at that, I can do whatever I want. Although I'm not sure I like that. Still stuck up the stairs, buddy? Huh? Come on, buddy. Oh, I want to see that. See, he did kind of roll away. I'm curious. I'm curious. Huh? Oh god, they can go downstairs. Wow, so good news and bad news. Stairs really work. Cause, whoa. Yeah, zombies can't press the X button, so they couldn't climb stairs in earlier games, but... Now that you can just deal with stairs like you do... Hey, hey, double kill, baby. Now that stairs are just regular stairs, I guess the, uh, the benefit works both ways. Did I kill that other one? Good. Well, we already knew this door was boarded up. The door won't budge. Seems to be nailed from the other side. Oh, floor two is quick. It's like just the star's office. Heh, <laughs> no statues to push this time. Good thing. You know how old that puzzle gets when you play Resident Evil 2 like 200 times? Statue of a god holding up his soul. No ruby for me. Too bad. We're good. There's the star's office. Wow, even this is boarded up. Solid barricade, but there are two red herbs. Too bad I don't have any more green ones. There were some back out in the town, but I don't have those due to inventory restrictions. Or constrictions. I guess you could say both. Alright, key's done. Let's take a look at, uh, nostalgia. Leon just signed up to the force, but I have an office here. Already I see a sparkly. Oh, you know what? Any fax machine prom- um, is that fax machine anythings? Nope. Various trophies. One of them reads, Marksman, contest winner, Chris Redfield. Impressive. I can't check the bit. Can I check the photo? Stars team members. Hey, we're still here. Cool. So there's no ammo here. The desk of Wesker. 
Captain of Stars. I would have used um, a dash rather than a semicolon. But and a passive voice is weird. It's not Wesker's desk. It's the desk of we of Wesker. Is this like the name of a Dungeons and Dragons item? You have found the desk of Wesker. Isn't anything useful on the shelf? Is that is that ammo? Oh, it is. And I think I saw two boxes. The desk of Barry. Uh, a Stars team member. A pair of replica guns around the desk. You know, that's actually a really nice touch. With Leon, it was just like, oh, the desk of some guy. I guess he was a member of the NRA. But Jill knows who he is. She works here, so it's, it's Barry's desk. So this confirms it. Nah, just one handgun ammo. The desk of Chris, a Stars team member. Its disorganization probably reflects the owner's personality. Oh, didn't it say that in RE2? That's kind of funny. Alright, 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 alright. Well, here's my desk, complete with my hat on it. Oh, hell yes! The lockpick! Can't investigate my own desk further than that. I can unlock the simple locks with this. The simple locks. Oddly specific. I mean, I can think of two simple locks. The desk of Rebecca, a rookie member of STARS. You like the little STARS uh, coffee mug over here? Oh, hey, look at that. Sure. A box of files from past cases, nothing useful. Communications device, but it's out of commission. I cannot send messages. Can I still receive messages? Also, hey, you think we have a magnum? <sighs> oh, dude! Hell yes! SMWM 629C, a large stainless steel revolver using 44 magnum rounds. Oh, baby. This pleases me. Oh, this again? So we can receive. Okay, someone named Carlos needs our help. Well, alright, we have a definite goal. We were looking for Brad, I guess, but he's dead. But now we have someone whom we can actually meet up with. Okay, works for me. Well, we have two things we can do with the, with the lockpick. We could open the lock in the evidence room. And we can uh, take care of that door that was actually all the way outside the police station. Whoa, the music got negative. Wait a minute. We've heard that music before. Get ready now. Get ready now. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Aha! Yeah, I'm just gonna book it. No! Oh! What the hell is he holding? No! No, 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 no! Did you hear that sound? He actually fired. He has a freaking rocket launcher. I didn't... The music's still playing. I didn't want to say anything because you could see it in the opening FMV really quick, but wow. Yeah, lockpick. Oh, hey, potential for uh, shotgun shells, but I... I'm not going back in there, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to let this one slide. All right, we got away. Ah, crap, come on. Whoa, oh my god, he's... Jeez! That was so fast! What the hell? He could open doors and he's way faster than me. Than I. 
Huh. <sighs> Mr. X could power walk, but that was ridiculous. We just started the game. I'm out. Okay, I guess we're out. Whoa, that was scary. I'm out. That went pretty okay. Oh my god. Oh, oh, that's the end. I guess we'll have to find out what that lockpick was for later. My god, he just ran us down. Uh, that's it. All right. Wow. That was one hell of a demo. Way to get me in the mood for Resident Evil 3. Well, there you have it. That was the Resident Evil 3 demo, and it was thoroughly enjoyable. It gave a great taste of what's to come. All that's left now is to take a look at the final product. I, for one, can hardly wait. Until next time, everyone.